What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I want to talk about something that is going to be affecting F-350s, Navigators, Expeditions, and F-150s. Is anybody having water leak into their passenger compartment after the AC is on? Tonight I'm going to show you how to fix that with this. Stay tuned and let's figure out how to do it. everybody welcome back this is something that we're dealing with in the hot weather and that is using our AC this technical service bulletin 20-2170 states some 2018 to through 2020 f-150 expedition navigator super duty vehicles built on or before August 31st of 2018 and through February 2nd of 2020 may exhibit a water leak on the right front floor during and or after the air conditioning is used. This may be due to condensation from the evaporator drain tube entering the vehicle through the drain tube seal. To correct the condition, it wants us to follow the service procedure steps to install an elbow on the evaporator drain tube to direct condensation away from the seal. So one of the first things it wants us to do was obviously remove the fender liners. This vehicle is equipped with the dual fender liner, so you guys will have to manipulate around that. But once you get that out, you're gonna be looking at this drain tube right here. This is actually going through the firewall and is part of the evaporator case, where the heater core is, where the evaporator, where your uh, blower motor is, your mode door actuators, all that whole housing this is attached to it so that it can drain that water just like if you had your cold beer on a hot day how it's condensating on the outside the same thing the same environment is happening inside this case but all that's got to drain and if it's not it's going to go right you guys can see it let me show you the seal you guys can see the seal right here it's going right behind here following the the channel of least resistance going right down right through the seal and right past the firewall. So right now, the first thing it wants us to do is remove this metal collar from around the plastic tube. All right, so I'm just gonna take a pair of pliers and I'm gonna bend all these teeth, all these little fingers away from the plastic tube. Go out with them. Try to get them all off like that. And then this should pretty much slide right off. I think it's got just a little detent in there. Alright, just like that. You can see the, the bottom of the tube's got a little plastic finger on it. But uh, let me show you the elbow. This is the part number for that elbow. The last two numbers are AA. That middle part number that the six numbers in Ford part catalog is actually an engine number and by golly this is like a PCV tube elbow so I find it kind of funny that that's what they want you to use to inhibit this water from getting in past the seal which I mean it works it's just funny that they're using a PCV hose so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lubricate the short end this is the long end this is the short end we're gonna push the short end on to the plastic tube, but we need to lube it up with water first so that it will slide over that plastic. All right, I've lubricated it up with some water. There's just a little puddle of water in here. As soon as I dump it out, I'm just gonna get all over the place. Push on. Push that on as far as I can go. Like this. Now this also has this protective kind of padding on here. Um, part of the uh, procedure they want you to do is to put tape over the elbow against the body. It wants you to totally put tape over that. So I'm gonna have to do that is 
apply some foil tape to this elbow. Now, F-150s do not have this, this shield. Um, this is a King Ranch trim level, so I don't know if that's the reason why this little sound deadening material is on here, but uh, I'm going to try to affix this tape around the elbow, attaching this to the body. Hold it around it. Kind of like this. Okay, let's go back to our picture. Okay, here's our picture. Can't really do that on the inside because then that panel won't uh, go over it. But I think this will do. Um, obviously we have the fender liners behind it and now this drain is completely over the seal where you guys saw my screwdriver pushing and where the actual water is getting in. So um, yeah, easy fix, cheap. Um, you can come to the dealer, it is under warranty, um, but uh, uh, if you guys need to do it yourself, all you have to do is take the fender liner out and install this elbow on your AC drain. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If anybody's actually had water in their truck, I have not. This customer has. Um, we've had ones that are actually worse where we had to use the fan to dry it out. Let me know. I'm curious to see how many of these are uh, actually being utilized. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See you.